Hello to you out there. In this video, let's go over the quiz number one, uh, over topics one and two. So here's the answers. I'll go through them. Uh, okay, so we're looking for which statement is true. These might be in a different order than you got. It randomizes everything. Uh, we're looking for true, so we can just knock out the ones that are false. Uh, developing countries face more of a problem with scarcity. Okay, so this question has to do with scarcity. The problem of scarcity faces everyone. Um, and what it is, is that we have limited resources to get whatever we want and uh, unlimited wants. So that's going to be Mark Zuckerberg there. Uh, which of which is true if, if the A trusted news source? Oh, no. You guys didn't email me about that typo. I'll have to go fix that. Um, chocolate consumption decreases personal productivity among office workers. I'm going to need to get... So snipping tool here so um, you could sketch this out and eventually I'm gonna do that as it pops up oh, there it is okay so for this one uh, let's draw a graph here so we have to decide is this going to be something that changes the supply of chocolate or the demand for chocolate okay and so the demand for chocolate is the consumer side and the supply of chocolate is the producer side so um, we know decreases pro personal productivity, so we know that this would actually affect the demand side and it would decrease the demand. So as I said in some of the other videos or the textbook said it, I didn't make that up. Um, that would be a leftward shift in uh, the demand. So you would go like this. It's not very uh, big change there, so let's do a bigger change here. Okay, so we were here, and then we go down here. Now you might be sitting there thinking, well, hey, wait a second, I wouldn't care, I'd still eat chocolate, you know, you know it's gonna probably cause you to gain weight or whatever, but um, think about what most people would do. So even if most people would cut their uh, chocolate consumption by 5%, that's gonna be a decrease in demand. Uh, okay, so this we can see here that this is gonna be a lower price and a lower quantity. So, I like equilibrium price, no, nope, not increase. I like that one. It's not an increase in demand. And it's not going to decrease supply. So, it's going to be this one. Okay. Notice how I'm knocking out the ones I don't like and then doing the ones that we do like. You guys actually do pretty good on this one, so good job. Positive economic statements, those are things like, uh, you know, the U.S. unemployment rate is 3.5% or something, or whatever it is, it's just a, a factual statement. Um, you know, so this is better, we can, we can debate that, that's normative. Uh, too low, that's normative. Minimum wage is too high, that's normative. Uh, that's normative. This one is a fact you can't really argue with. Depending on whether you, what you think should have happened, uh, that one is a positive economic statement. Uh, due to labor shortage, farmers cannot produce as much lettuce as per acre. Uh, so this is going to be a change in supply. So yeah, so just uh, so quantity and price of salads so we're going to shift salads this way because now it's more expensive to get lettuce okay, so we're going to go up there and price will increase quantity will decrease I like that one um, both will increase oh both will decrease both will increase oh yeah price and quantity yeah so this can't be those and then price will price will not decrease. So it's that one, and you can just look at it on the graph that you drew. So if you just sketch this out, you can make it a little easier. Uh, opportunity cost moving from thirty thousand gallons of milk that would be right here to forty thousand gallons of milk. Okay, so we're going from here to here, and that would be half a thousand of cars. So that would be five hundred cars. So I had to do a little bit of math on that. Uh, next page, which of the following is a normative statement, okay, 
Uh, so we're looking for something with a should. Uh, yeah, needs to, right? So this is a normative statement. Right? Uh, price per bar, price ceiling would cost which the following results. Okay, so for this one, what you could do is just go, there's our price ceiling right here. Right here, so this is quantity supplied, and this is quantity demanded. So price ceiling is a law that makes it illegal to charge any higher than a certain price. Okay. So can't go any higher than 80 cents. What would happen? Buyers would want to buy more than at equilibrium price with every 200 unit shortage. That's true. Sellers would want to sell more than at equilibrium. No. Sellers would want to sell less than an equilibrium and there'd be a 200 unit surplus. No, there'd be a shortage. And buyers would want to buy less at the quantity. No, they want to buy more. This one, this is a shift of just capital goods, not consumer goods. So from FE to AE, that's what that means. Uh, not the entire economy, it's just the capital goods part. Yeah, this one, because you had to know machinery is, is a capital good, a type of capital good. Uh, and the consumer good parts didn't change, so we can't change it. That wouldn't be that one. It wouldn't be... Oh, I guess that's the only one that's specific to that. Number nine, which the following would be a specific concern to macroeconomists. <laughs> that's funny. Nope. Uh, no, we don't care just about Los Angeles. Um... Changes in dating habits. No, that's a micro thing. Can significant increase in the consumer price level in an economy. It's that one. That's an inflation number I care about. Textbook makes a big deal out of that. A country does a binding price floor on its paper market. Which one is likely to occur? So a price floor is when we do a price higher than equilibrium. So up here. Okay, so it would be legal to charge any higher than the price floor, but not legal to charge any lower than the price floor. So, paper product market, uh, not not a decrease in imports, probably have an increase in imports. Major paper shortage, no, we're going to have a surplus. Uh, an increase in demand, no. An increase in paper domestic production, probably, that's the best answer there. Um, ooh, a decrease in paper exports from the country. There would actually be an increase because the surplus would mean that the more would be added. That's that's kind of a hard one, um, but the answer there to that one is that. One. Okay, well that's quiz one. I'll do a video of these after each of these quizzes is over. Shoot me an email if you have any questions.